welcome back to the <coughs> next section of the discussion in the last video I, I discussed how to get the cube roots of number now I'm discussing how to get the cubes now the questions will be like this 56 cube is how much please wait for a moment and try to understand that I'm not gonna multiply 56 into 56 into 56 and I will get the answer even though many books for bank PO they attempt to give some shortcut principles for getting the cube of a number but trust me that shortcut is actually like a long cut you will hardly get this result by mere multiplication or by mere process of getting the cube try to understand this is a bank question he doesn't ask your expertise or knowledge in maths so in this I'm not gonna multiply like that or in other words I'm not gonna solve this problem because the bank question doesn't ask me to solve the problem so what I do is actually the question is find out whose cube root is 56 whose cube root is 56 fine now as this is a 6 I'll just take it to the last video as such where I was discussing that if it is 1 it is 1 if it is 2 uh, if it is 4 it is 4 if it is 5 it is 5 0 is 0 9 is 9 6 is 6 every other number like 2 will end in 10 minus 2 circle means 10 minus 2 that is 8 circle of 3 means 10 minus 3 that is 7 circle of 7 is 3 circle of 8 is 2 or in other words if this is 2 it must be 8 and if this is 8 it must be 2 if this is 3 it must be 7 if this is 7 this must be 3 by that I am finding that 56 cube will end in a number which will have 6 at the last or in other words cube root of this kind of a figure this 6 will come here or you take 6 as this or in other words 56 cube is the number ending in 6 or cube root of this number is definitely some number having 6 in its <coughs> last digit so 2 this is actually the cube of a number which is having 8 in its last digit it may be anything it may be 68 or 78 or whatever but it can't be 56 but because if it is 56 this will end in 6 so this is not my answer similarly if this is 3 this will be the cube of a number which is having 7 it may be 67 or 97 or something but this can't be 6 so this is also ruled out so I'm left with another two options that is 175616287496 so this is 56 now you can see as I told in the last video you just separate these three numbers and see the rest this is 287 this is 175 now 175 is coming after which perfect cube 175 is lying between this and this I mean this is I'll write it down 5 cube is 125 6 cube is 216 175 is lying in between <coughs> so if it is 175 it's lying between 125 and 216 the 216 has nothing to do what I'm saying is it's coming after 125 which is 5 Q so this is my answer now 287 287496 is actually the cube of 66 how do I know that because it's coming after 216 and it's lying between 216 and 343 
216 and 343 here it's coming here it's lying 200 probably it was I'll just recheck it 287 yeah so this was 287 so any number lying between this will have 6 in the first digit and depending on the last digit you can make out so this kind of a sum will never have a non answer correct because getting the cube of a big number like this or even a small number like 12 for the 12 you might get some technique in some of the books but that that's actually not the way to solve a problem like this honestly there is no such shortcut to get the cubes if I will really use the shortcut also you can be able to solve the problem but it will take at least one or two minutes so this is the overall thing to tackle the problems that are involving how to find the cubes of any number because if the problem becomes becomes 173 ka cube is how much you will just look at the options as this is 3 just see which option is ending in 7 that's it that will give you the answer in fact this kind of a sum never comes in bank exam thanks for watching